had a little experience earlier, <coughs> uh, well, at the very end of last year with the mental health department at Vancouver General Hospital. I was admitted <laughs> against my will. Yes, and you And what I had to do, they said, uh, "Is this was, was everything in your head? Did you make it all up? And I said, no, it wasn't. I didn't make it all up. And they said, okay, go to bed. Then the next day they said, was it all in your head? Did you make it all up? And I said, no, it wasn't all in my head. I have witnesses. They said, okay, go to bed. The third day they said, was it all in your head? Did you make it all up? I said, yeah, fuck, it's all in my head. I made it all up. They said, all right, here's the bus tickets. Have a good life. That literally, it was, it was that easy. Like, I told them what they wanted to hear and I got out. Um, when I wasn't telling them wow. what they wanted to hear, I got more pills and I got sent to bed. Both good options, but I wanted a cigarette, <laughs> so I made them let me out. And that's what these guys are doing. They're they're either not crazy when they go in, or they're let, they're pulling an Eric on you and making you think they're not crazy for five seconds while you sign the discharge paper. Uh, start doing your job. I don't believe in doctor fatigue. I really don't. If you can't hack it, get out and let someone else do it. Um, yeah. You need to be on the ball when you're diagnosing and assessing these people. Uh, if you're if someone's slipping through the cracks, that's on you. So uh, figure it out. No more not criminally responsible. And if they are not criminally responsible, keep them in the fucking hospital. That for me should be forever. Like I think yeah. if you get off on that, then you're in a hospital forever. Yeah, there is no parole. There is no chance of, no, you are in, if you're going to claim that you are men so mentally unstable that you are able to commit murder and not know the difference of it being right or wrong, then you never, ever, ever get out of that hospital. No, no, you don't go to if jail. you go to jail, that's you have a chance. chance. You don't go to jail, but you're in the hospital forever. So take yeah. your chances with 25 years in jail or forever in the hospital. That's it. And forever literally means you will fucking die there. Absolutely. Definitely. But and I'm hopefully also, sooner than uh, later. But I'm also a bit of a proponent. If if you get a sentence that puts you that you will never see the light of day, that's it. You're done. You're you like there's a guy <clears throat> there's a couple of guys in the like serial killers and whatnot that were put away. They got like you know, like seven hundred years in jail. I you love know, that so shit. Like those which are hilarious and funny and all, but plain and simple. You put them in, you spend the first, I don't know, five plus years studying them. You get whatever information you can to help future investigations, future enforcement to be able to catch people like them sooner. As soon as they get no more information, you put a bullet in their head and you end it. Uh, I, no think it should be, I, I think it should be their choice. You can opt if you know you're in for seven hundred years. You can opt for for Gord's bullet well, at any any time you want. I don't think there should be the option because why? Look at the sheer cost of what it costs to keep one of these people around, and what are they doing? Nothing. Well, we can They're put never, a threshold on it, like you said. Like we're gonna we're gonna bump, we're gonna rub you out in ten years, but uh, you could take a bullet behind the ear today if you want. It's cool with me. Or we'll we'll study you for ten years and then we'll off you when we're done with you. It's up to you. I'd be fine with that, I guess. But I just think you should put like a much quicker. You can learn everything you need from a guy in a little less than fucking ten years. And yeah, if they're not, I, I would say so. Share their information, then okay, then you eat the bullet tonight. That's no problem. Yeah, one hundred percent. Um, yeah. it's gonna be. A, Gordon and I, when we're in charge, uh, which seems like it could be sooner than later, um, we're going to be very diplomatic. We're going to be very democratic. Like, you're going to have a say in everything. We're going to present you with yeah. options all the time. Uh, you're not going to like those options very much, most of you. Um, <laughs> but we will be presenting you with options. We're very fair that way. It's, like Gord said, you can let us fucking probe you like a caged animal for five years or you can take a bullet right now like we're not monsters it's totally no, up to you we'll, 
totally up to you. It's, it's you know, you get the, you get the, you get the choice. Even in jail, you get that democratic option in jail. Oh yeah, absolutely. Die, dude, die dude. now or die later, whatever. But you and, will die. And Eric and Gord government will be huge proponents of the right to die. Um, I think it's absolutely disgusting the hoops they make you jump through at the end of life if you now decide to end your life. Now we've uh, the fact that that's an option in Canada is great, but I still think that the it's such an involved process. A lot of people die waiting for approval. That's yeah, not that's right. fucked up. If you want to die, you should be allowed to die. There should be cyanide booths at the end of every hall in the hospital and and, and in every <laughs> ward in the jail. Uh, federal penitentiary, it should be right there for you, right in your face, like right this way, and you're fucking free. <laughs> I like the Futurama thing where there's a suicide machine on every corner. <laughs> Absolutely. I I think we should be actively encouraging it. For just for certain people. Like I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not some crazy German who's gonna start telling people to fucking tie electrodes to their testicles and send me pictures. Um but if you want to die, I don't think we should tell you you're right or wrong. I agree to that wholeheartedly. Um, I don't know why. I think one thing. Any, yeah. I think if if we're gonna go in any positive direction in the next fifty to seventy five years, I think everyone's involvement in our business has to back the fuck off. When it comes to, t- like, the pro-choice, and when I say pro-choice, I mean all choices that affect you directly like that, um, uh, be it abortion, the right to die, uh, anything you fucking have to choose for yourself, everybody else needs to back the fuck off. Um, start letting us make our own decisions. Stop telling us what to do. I think that's that's the only way we're going to progress in any advanced sort of way. That's just my personal opinion. Gord, on the other hand, I, just wants to yeah. kill all of you. So, yes, I do. I want a whole, uh, whole lot of you to just suck. You're all good. Absolutely. <laughs> You're all safe with me still. <laughs> right, um, I have something here, Eric. That I I was hanging out with some friends uh, last night overnight, and they were they were listening to old episodes of us. Yeah, and I heard some very old ones where you were first introducing your your uh, uh, theory on how how to what what needs to happen to the population, and it was about a year ago. I was actually quite offended by that idea. Yeah, we didn't sure. argue yet back then, but no. uh, I was I was quite taken aback by your suggestion. Now I'm starting to warm up to it, but it's funny. Listen to that. I still stand, even after all this time, I still stand by it. The only way to solve the problems of the world. It's the only way. I don't know. You could be right. Um, <clears throat> you are cutting out all crazy on me here. What is going on? See, breaking up. There we go. Why are we breaking up? I am going to shut this down. I think it's you. Every time you Google something. I haven't Googled anything. Okay. Every time Everything you're looking, that's on my computer. Every, I, I, I'm not saying that's it. I'm just saying it. every time you look in that direction, it seems to happen. <laughs> it's, it likes my pretty face so much that when I look away, it gets suspended. <laughs> so I am... Getting all the... I'm just closing a bunch of stuff on my computer here. Sorry for this. We'll edit this out. No, we won't. It's live. Um, I'm going to say we'll edit it out, but I won't. I won't edit shit. So, Real Eric. quick, I guess we got to mention uh, the vote to have witnesses in the Trump fucking sham of a bullshit trial uh, didn't go through, so there will be no witnesses. The final vote on impeachment will happen on Wednesday. This motherfucker is walking. He is walking yep. right back to presidenting on Wednesday. So that was a tremendous waste of time. 
and he'll do it again when he gets reelected. Uh, that I am not a hundred percent sure of. I think I, I'm starting to really warm up to the idea that he may not, and I like that. That makes me happy. Um, but this was a complete waste of time, and the thing that angers me the most about it is the fucking QAnon motherfucking conspiracy prick idiots get to say that this was all planned and it was it's all part of the big fucking plan. And I hate that because it's stupid. I haven't got into yeah, it. Yeah, but you know, sorry, go ahead. It's 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 <laughs> the the reason. I mean, again, I'm I'm not a big supporter of Trump by any means. Anybody who listens to the podcast knows this. Um, but the simple reason is, is just simply because remember, this is a group that literally said, this is an open shut thing. This is not even a second thought. Of course he did it. We have all the proof in the world. It's la da da, And they still couldn't get them on it. Every one of them are now looking like a bunch of, because remember, it's not just a matter of that, that the. Democrats have gone around their way and trying to do this. Every single one of the Democrats that are starting to, they're trying to run against Trump. Every one of them, their number one concern isn't what's best for the people. It's eliminating Trump from Trump from office. This is where they're going to lose. I they're think all most, standing up saying the same thing. I think most of their concern is getting rid of Bernie Sanders right now before they even focus on Trump. But they, we knew they were going to get stonewalled on this witnesses thing. Um, I don't know why we even bothered going ahead with this. And I guess Nancy Pelosi kind of wanted to back out, and then no one would let her. So she had to go ahead with this fucking thing. Well, she started. She opened her fucking mouth about it. So um, when you start this type of thing, you got to have something to stand by. And if you don't have the witnesses to stand behind it from the get-go, you don't start the proceedings. That She's is, an idiot. The whole group are fucking morons. That is what most people said was this thing was rushed. It should have been another six months down the road, and then Bolton would have been, his book would have been out. He would have been ready to testify, and a whole bunch of things could have been done differently. But QAnon uh, people, please, anyone from QAnon who wants to have a rational discussion with Gordon and I, please get in touch with us. Um, Todd Cochran can blow me at gmail.com and... I would love to have one of you on the show, or even Q, if you're out there, you're obviously listening to me, because that's what you do, um, get in touch and tell us what's going on, if and prove to me that something about any of the nonsense you guys fucking spew all day is true. Because um, it's, now it's starting, now they get a little bit of credibility, and I fucking hate that. Yeah. Yep. And it's... Again, I don't see any. I just don't. I don't see Trump not winning this the next one. Well, I just don't see it. Everybody on the Democrats have been fully discredited. Every one of them have been discredited. All they're doing is fighting each other yeah. at this stage. Yeah, the they're game. not looking good and, in that regard. You're absolutely no. Right. So you're fighting each other. You all have the same platform, which is eliminate Trump. That's it. Nothing else to stand on. Just eliminate Trump. The biggest thing, and I listened to three of the four runners tonight. All three of the four runners in their speeches openly say, in their open speech, we got to eliminate Trump. Obviously, that's first and foremost. That's what's best for us. Well, you see, <laughs> no time in history have you ever heard them say, any president elect coming into an election, coming in saying, the reason you want to vote for me is so that we can get rid of this other guy. That that's not how you vote. That's not how you get wins. That this is, is that, that attitude is why people fucking quit for companies because that's a bad manager. That's a bad person. You know how to handle it's for that. I'm reading a your focus is wrong. I'm reading a book right now. It's a very boring book because I love to read boring shit, and it's all about uh, the psychology of voting and the four theories of why we vote the way we do and how we vote. It is absolutely fascinating. And there are massive teams of people working behind the scenes to ensure that you vote the way they think you're going to, the way they want you to. And it's freakishly accurate. They've been analyzing like every election in North America since the dawn of time. Uh, very interesting stuff. I want to, I'm going to, as I read it, I want to pay very close attention to these election going on in the states and see what happens in november 
I want Trump gone. I really, I am done with this bullshit. 